On today's episode, get your level grinding shoes on as Brittany discusses Dungeons and Dragons, how it compares to World of Warcraft, and why she plays. This episode is brought to you by Gamedius, the god of artistic motion gaming. Greetings, freedom nerds! Today we're about to get so nerdy you might just explode. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I said it. I bet you never thought you'd hear me say those words, did you? As some of you might know, I am in fact a gamer. Link in the description. And a few years ago, I got really into World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, what does that have to do with Dungeons and Dragons? Patience, young Padawan. Patience. I got so into WoW that it became an everyday thing. I have a lot of friends who play WoW, and it became a really great way for me to have fun and hang out with them, and I even made friends in different parts of the country. I really loved the fact that you became this magical person and people knew you as your character. Padmage the Undead. That was my main character and I was so proud of it because of my pun. <laughs> I really loved all of the adventure, the magic, and the teamwork that was involved with playing the game. The only downside was that I kinda became a hermit because I just wanted to sit inside and level up all day. Luckily, I achieved all the things and I gave it up right before the launch of Mists of Pandaria. Pandaria, however you say it, who really cares, it's pandas. I'm currently thinking about getting back into WoW, but dedicating that much of my life is just not happening right now. So I actually found a cheaper and more social alternative. Did you guess what I was gonna say? Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons! You might already know this, but D&D is just like WoW in that it's a mystical, magical world where you fight, level, and strategize except you actually get to be your character. And even better is that you actually get to be with your friends in real life. Not that I'm saying WoW isn't super social, but let's be IRL. You also don't have to be a super nerd to know about D&D. It's become a part of nerd culture, whether you're loving it or loving to troll it. Don't be a troll, unless it's in game. Like I said before, D&D is a fantasy tabletop role-playing game that you play in real life with a group of friends. It's an ongoing storytelling adventure which dnd.wizards.com explains as guiding your heroes through quests for treasure, battles with deadly foes, daring rescues, courtly intrigue, and much more. You create your character from a list of specs involving class, race, and experience. The most important character in the game is the Dungeon Master. He is the one who knows all about the current outcome of the journey that your character is on. He is the game's storyteller and referee. You want to make sure that you have a killer Dungeon Master. Not literally killer, but you know, like really awesome. Or else the story just won't be that much fun. You are going to need a starter pack and a few other things to guide you on your journey, but those are one-time buys and it's not a monthly subscription like WoW is. And you're with a group of friends, so if things are too pricey, you can just ask them to pitch in and bring them at the next party. If you're looking for more information on D&D or World of Warcraft, a quick Google search can tell you anything that you want to know. Or you can ask me. I did just get into D&D, so I'm no expert, but I do plan to keep playing, so it should be a good time. Remember guys, girls are nerds too. So if you're QQing about not finding that special someone, you're in the wrong raid. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you engage in nerdy activities. And if you want to see more of me, my link is in the description, but it's also youtube.com slash britsgames. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Greeting Freedoms Nerd! Nerd? One of you. Nerd. There's one. Yeah! What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it's so hard to say. <laughs> D D. We're gonna shorten it to D D because I can't say Dungeons. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave that in. You also don't have to be a super nerd to know about Dungeons and Dragons. Secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about.